Hey, filmsters, make sure you check out the We Live Film podcast Fridays live, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on RadioTitans.com. You get the stars of We Live Film talking about what to watch over the weekend, movie news, and much, much more. It's an entertaining listen, so check it out, filmsters. You will not be disappointed. Hey all my horror fiends out there, Tuesdays Upon Us, the terror on the chopping block today is Crazy Bitches. Now this was written and directed by Jane Clark, and Jane, she gives us the story of a group of friends who go out to a ranch to have a good time, they're having a bonding time, catch up with one another, have some drinks, have some laughs, have some fun. Well, the one night that while they're out there, they learn that the location where they're staying at has a dark history. <laughs> yes, namely, it was the site of a mass murder that had happened many moons ago, but they don't think this affects them until one of them shows up dead. That's right, she ends up dead, killed in a mean and nasty way, and soon, one by one, each of the groups, uh, members of the group, are picked off and killed in gruesome ways, and makes you wonder who could be doing the killing, and who is going to survive out of the group of crazy bitches. Yes, Jane Clark gives us this horror comedy that is an excellent balance of both. Normally in an independent film like this, you get one too much humor and not enough horror, or too much horror and not enough humor. But here, she has a great balance of both in her script. There's some subtle humor in here as well as, you know, with one of the names of the characters, namely the token guy of this group of women who are friends out at this ranch. His name is BJ, which I chuckled considering who who his character was. Uh, so you get humor like that as well, plus a running gag that involves Oh, one of the uh, characters' spouse. I, I rather got a kick out of that as well. And, but it also served uh, for the plot, which I enjoyed. The running gag actually served as a part of the plot of the film and played a, a role as far as trying to determine what is actually going on and why these women are being killed. Now, the kills in this film were very creative and looked really well done. The blood and the gore was handled well in this film. Not too excessive, but also to give that little extra slash flair. You can tell Jane uh, Clark really is experienced in watching slasher films and that comes across on screen. Uh, so the way those uh, kill scenes are handled were really well done. Now the chemistry between this group of individuals is great and that's because of their characters that they have in here. These characters that Jane gives us aren't just your cookie cutter cliche characters. On the surface they may seem to be the arrogant one, the married one, the virginal nice girl one, you, you know the lesbian, the uh, uh, kind of the woman that kind of goes after all the guys so you get those cliches in there but she gives them a little bit of a twist a little bit of different extra characteristic of some sort that gives them a little more depth and makes you invested in them at least enough to not want anything nasty happen to these uh, group of women even if they conflict with each other which I will say was written well too here uh, usually I, it's hard sell for me to buy into the conflict between the characters usually feels made up in here it felt a little more natural uh, and and at times humorous between this group of individuals because they're all sorority sisters. So uh, while they all care for each other because they're all sorority sisters, there are some quirks about each of them that get on each other's nerves. And so I like the conflicts that showed up between the characters as well. Uh, overall, Crazy Bitches is an entertaining original little twist on the slasher genre. Speaking of twists, there are actually two twists at the end. One kind of the reveal at the end, which I didn't actually see coming. And then there's one after that that really puts into perspective the entire film and makes a change for the better in there. It makes you start to wonder, huh, so that's how actually what was going on. Uh, so, you know, I, I liked that uh, at the end. I thought the ending was handled really well. Didn't quite end the way I expected either, which is always fun when you see a film that surprises you. And Crazy Bitches definitely did that for me. So if you're a fan of the indie horror scene, if you're a fan of independent horror comedies, looking for something a little bit different, a film with some strong female characters in it, then you'll want to check out Crazy Bitches. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think you will too if you enjoy that type of film. Thank you so much for watching here at Tuesday Terrors. Make sure you check out the We Live Film podcast. It happens Fridays, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where you get the stars of We Live Film talking about the news, what to watch, and what's just going on in movie a universe in general. It's a great listen, and you should check it out, as well as the other segments here on WeLiveFilm.com, because some people are watching it, we're living it. Take care. <laughs>